We are live. Hello, everybody. This is Magnum Pi, uh, and we are Initiative Zero. This is our inaugural recording, and um, we are going to play some first edition World of Darkness. So this is first edition, not the current second edition, which is known as Chronicles of Darkness, but rather the first edition of what was known as the New World of Darkness. Uh, we are playing in the Gotham Chronicle. It's uh, You're kind of catching us quite a ways into the story. But, um, well, well, we'll do a little recap of that. But first, we're going to go around and introduce ourselves and uh, and who we are in this game. Um, I'm Magnum Pi, and uh, I'm playing Stan Nowak. He's a novice lawyer with our this group of lawyers. Um, and uh, Stan's a handsome fellow who is uh, a bit naive in some ways, but uh, in other ways, he's rather quite bright. And we'll move on to uh, Teku. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'll be playing Travis Scott, one of the more uh, older, experienced, but somehow underpromoted uh, of the lawyers in the firm uh, by virtue of... Travis is pretty curious, but much more so methodical and calculated. All right, cool. And we'll move on to uh, Vahilo. Hi there, everyone. I'm Vahilo. I'm playing the role of Clayton Fike. Clayton is a security offer, officer at uh, Suter & Baines, the law firm where all of the others are lawyers. I've been there for about five years, and uh, I'm a subtle man, but I don't make my presence known whenever I walk into a room. So people see me, they notice me, uh, and generally they're uh, uh, interested in uh, in my presence in that space. All right. And Golgotha. Well, okay, I'm Golgotha. I play uh, Diego Velez. Uh, I am a promising attorney at Sutter and Baines, although it's no longer Sutter and Baines. It's now uh, uh, Velez and uh, no what's the other guy? Noak, thank you. I keep forgetting that. Um, anyways, uh, my character is somewhat neurotic, I guess. Uh, you know, very bottom line. Uh, apparently, he uh, has experience. Uh, my past experience is one deceit, as I have lied, cheated, and quote fornicated to get my success. Um, I don't know if I agree with that, but that's what it says in my bio. Cool. All right, and our storyteller, Dark Templar. Hey guys, I'm uh, Dark Templar. Uh, I'll be the GM for this game here. Uh, I wrote the game. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy what I have to offer. All right, cool. To be clear, he wrote the story, not first edition World of Darkness, but that's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, all right. I and wish I wrote that. That's very important information. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recap. Later. I'm going to recap the story that Dark Templar has written for us to, to this time. I'm going <laughs> to skip a lot of stuff because I want to get us right into uh, this particular game. But um, essentially, essentially, we were all part of a law firm called Sutter and & Baines, um, and uh, one of the partners went missing, um, and, uh, and then the senior partner also kind of went missing. And um, we took over the firm and renamed it and, and the like to, uh, what is it, Noak and Valez now? And, no, Valez and Noak. Valez and Noak. Right, Noak and Valez. And uh, so we, um, but it, essentially what's happened is, is that in investigating these disappearances, um, we have, uh, have realized that what's going on in this fictitious Gotham city, which has nothing to do with Batman at all in any way, shape or form. Um, it's Gotham, New York, apparently. Um, it, uh, yeah, we, th we've been kind of hunting down the sort of the seven deadly sins that have become personified or, or are demons of so, a sort that are working for um, some greater power. And uh, we've, we've been jumping between realities, jumping between time frames or time lines and things like that. And it's been a very twisty, twisty path. Right now, our path has led us in, our, in, a, in the pursuit of getting weaponry in Delaware, because apparently the, the gun laws in Delaware are more lax than in New York. Um, in the pursuit of, of weaponry, we went to Delaware, where we happened upon a very Sturgis-like um, biker convention. Uh, what's the name of the biker gang? 
Red, uh, Devils. The, Red Devils. Red Devils. Red, Red, the Red yeah. Devils, which are, are actually a real biker gang. No affiliation to us. But um, but yeah, and we are currently trying to find our stolen car um, that happened there. We've befriended these things, and we think we think they're werewolves, but we could be wrong. Um, We're not wrong. Yeah, I'm just holding out hope, um, which is not wise to do in this game. Um, no. Abandon all hope. Yes, yes, you who listen. Abandon all hope, you who listen. And that's kind of where we are. We've just made our way around a lake in this uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, what is it, like a woodland area, a preserve that uh, the convention is being held at to where there's a demolition derby that we think our car is part of. Um, yeah, and that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. So, uh, without any further ado, I give you Dark Templar and his storytelling uh, abilities. Prowess. Prowess. Ooh. Wow, Good way one. way too much uh, way too much esteem there, guys. You're right. All so right, don't just turn it off now, yeah. guys. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. way too much. Oh, that's way that's the last thing. This is completely theater of the mind. Uh, we're not going to have any visuals other than what you see before you. You're not going to, we're not doing video stream to save bandwidth, all sorts of stuff like that. So uh, this is also good. If you want to just listen, you can, uh, you know, save yourself some power and put your phone into, you know, just audio uh, and lean back, relax and, and listen to the story and take it away. All right. Um, all right. So uh, you guys are currently at uh, the, um, I guess uh, parking lot area. Uh, with, I mentioned last time that there was going to be that there was a, a chain link fence that you could uh, see your car. I believe one of you guys hit like the like the car button or something like the unlock or lock your car. That's right. Yeah, we yeah. saw we saw the lights. Yeah, yeah. The lights. I, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, you guys definitely know that it's in there because uh, you heard it go you know doot doot as uh, you hit the uh, the button there. And so you're all kind of staring outside. Uh, you're not inside the parking lot, obviously, as there is a chain link fence that uh, is about ten to fifteen feet high. And uh, has some barbed wire on the top of it, so probably, and it's still uh, the it's it's still a bit of daylight. It's but it is getting quite dark, as we mentioned. Um, just a quick question: What did we leave behind again in the camper? Uh -oh. Everything. Don't. Oh no, no, I've got no. my I've got my thing. I well, we have my, a, I'm pretty sure I had my, my, my weapons on me. My, yeah, my I got my sword. Handguns. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I took mine as well. We left we left the armor and my rifle with no ammo, but I've got my fancy new gloves that are yet undefined. Right. Those what undefined. Should have a, we should have a trident. Who That's should have a trident? What are you, Brick? Somebody. Come on, be cool. <laughs> no, he's more like Aquaman. It's just... Hi, Aquaman. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Nobody, nobody likes Aquaman. Yeah, no. you are you are Aquaman in a I land setting. That's what you are. <laughs> Well, a sword, man. why not a trident? I'm just saying. <laughs> trident. Sweet. Exactly. wouldn't know how to use either. Fuck <laughs> that, I can use a trident. Do you mean you, do you, mean you or... <laughs> do you mean I, I enjoy that you didn't argue that you could wow. use your sword. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, continue on. Alright. So, I uh, guess all tired of this fence here. Uh, there are people that are working. There's people moving uh, boxes from here to there and uh, checking the cars. You got people like who are gearing up, um, you know, making sure that uh, everything's starting. Um, and yeah, like there's just like a, a roadie crew basically just setting things up, standard being set up kind of thing. What um, do you guys do? Can I take a good look at the roadie crew? Yeah, what like, are you looking for? Um, just standard ears, tails, teeth, visual. That, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, teeth at this point, they are roadies. You guys want to throw any other ideas? You good? Carry on. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I just, again, you know uh... I need to see if they're wearing any patches or vests that affiliate them with the Red Devils, or if these are just sort of a ragtag group that we could perhaps infiltrate. Oh, so you like, want to see whether they're part of an actual like biker gang or something? Well, that's the thing. Uh, like, I, what are they wearing? Are they? Do they appear affiliated? Mm, okay, so through your, I'm not gonna have you roll for it, but just like through your glance there, they're they aren't very close to like the actual uh, like fence itself and like right beside you uh so it is pretty hard to see if they're wearing anything that's uh going to be completely identifiable i guess yeah. like name wise but <clears throat> they are some of them are wearing vests so they are affiliated with something but you're not okay. completely sure of what it is well there goes and i'm going to look at stan and say there goes my plan of talking our way in pretending to be you know here to grab the first load of cars 
Well, why don't we just one of us jump the fence and drive it through and leave? Well, who's it's all got good. the keys? I will do I a, have the keys. It's my car. I'm going to do a Vanna White gesture to the 10 to 15 foot fence with barbed wire on the top and say, go right ahead. Well, I mean, that's doable. Does anybody, yeah, it's not good. It's, we can do that. My real life experience with the subject says, no, you cannot. <laughs> oh, Please tell us about your real life experience. No. <laughs> yeah, it's no. A lot, a lot, yeah, it's a lot harder. But I will <laughs> tell you, no, you cannot. <laughs> It's hard, man. I will watch you try, both in real life and in this game. <laughs> When's the last time you climbed over barbed wire? Gumi? No, Golgi. Golgi. When, well, okay, so granted it wasn't like 15 feet high, but I routinely went through barbed wire a lot. And when, when I... Routinely? Routinely, yeah. eh? What to define routinely? routinely? Like, yeah, please. like twice a day. What were you in the in World War II? Like, what? <laughs> no, it was a, it was out of. <laughs> I'm in the trench to save your name. <laughs> no, it was oh. when I did archaeology. It was in a field. <laughs> oh my god! What kind of field? A field of barbed in? wire. Yeah. Well, no, you had to, in order to, in order to get to the site, you had to go through a barbed wire fence. So what you do is one person stands at the bottom, the other one person lifts it up, and then people go through. It's not that hard. That's not archaeology. Yeah. That's theft with extra steps. No, we had permission to go. It just said it was easier to do that way than go through the gate. Dearest so easier to trespass through barbed wire. We didn't trespass. Oh. We were going through the place we were supposed to go. We had permission from the Cause, landowner. Because I've gone also, on archaeological digs, and I'll be honest with you, I can tell you exactly how many times there were barbed wire, and it is zero. I grant that. In my case, there was barbed wire. So were but you also, doing archaeology yeah. in Normandy? Is that... Yeah. <laughs> Dearest no. Edith. I don't, I don't know why. Over the top okay, there. I don't know why you find this so difficult to believe. <laughs> no, it's, but, it's a thing. But realize this is not just a, like a foot of barbed wire. Yeah, you're climbing. I, I get that. I get that. Like a 15 foot fence, and then climbing barbed wire. Yeah, not to get meta. But I have. When's the, the last have, time you've done that? Is what I'm trying to get at. I have okay, the well. best sheet for this specific action, and I'm not doing it. I'm telling you now. Well, I figure you climb it, throw a jacket over top, and then you're good. No. What? Oh that, that is a way to do it. Yeah, see, I'm not wrong. But, no, 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 no. But it's not the best way. Like, what is your jacket made out of? Mithril? Well, I mean, leather. <laughs> leather leather would be important. Oh, good. That'll help for a moment or two. Well, you just need a moment. No. no. You're going to fall over the other no. side, man? It's 15 feet, dude. We're not going to need a moment to get over that. That's, like, crazy. Edith is not going to get your correspondence. <laughs> let me just tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, really. You climb the fence. You throw the, the jacket over. You climb over that. You're good. This would be a good time to also mention that uh, if you want to put any uh, comments in the comments section about how crazy this would be oh, in real life, yeah. please do so. If you have any experiences that aren't overly ridiculous and gory, yeah, no, I actually would give no, that. No, we want the we want the gory even ones. Even ridiculous and gory. Yeah. I mean, not yeah. saying to, like, to try that home either. But did we give the warning that this is and send it to us? Yeah, this is not for pictures. children. Yeah. Did we do that yet? Yeah, yeah I, I think the channel is set to be not for kids. But yeah, uh, nothing yeah, about goodness. any of yeah. this. So, like, that was dark. so oh. who's climbing the fence? Huh? Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's the person well, who... I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to walk along the edge for a little bit and see if there's any <laughs> yeah. gap or anything like that. Like, it is, okay. it is my car, and I, like, if I can find a spot that's easy, I will be the first one over the fence because nobody fucking takes Clayton's car. No, like, I don't want to take your car. So I you don't want to get too Tolkien about this, but I feel like we don't have to dig too deep to get under it. Like, there's a minimal risk of Balrog if we just go under you got a shovel? Uh, hang on, let me check. <laughs> That's a negative. Do, 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 do. Doesn't somebody also, have a sword? Wait a minute. We are not using my sword to dig under a fence. No, but you could cut the fence. We have guns, and this is America. That's the solution to everything. Well, you want to shoot a chain link fence? <laughs> no, I want to shoot a tunnel. I want to shoot a tunnel under the fence, obviously. That's, tunnels work. that's, that's a little loud, man. It's chain link. And, and narrow. It's, uh... And climbing a giant and, and fence I, I won't be loud. People are going to hear us. I don't, mm. want to I, don't want, I don't want to dull my sword. That is the closest Don't's, thing I have to a shovel. Dull the son of a bitch. I mean, we could try and grab away from the poles and lift and okay. try and skirt well, why under don't, it. Why don't we do as as Vahalo said, and walk along and maybe there's actually a gate to get through. 
Sure. Oh, thank you, Diego, for supporting my idea. You're welcome. This is why this is why you're my welcome, favorite Peyton. lawyer at this firm. You're a lying liar who lies. No, that just means he doesn't like the lawyers here in general. That's not a hard part. Oh, what did I ever do to you? Have you met you guys? Exactly, yes. All right, so we're going to be walking? No, we're just going to walk along the edge of the fence for a little bit. So uh, looking at the uh, map there, I know our audience can't, or our listeners can't see it, but do you want to walk towards Lum's Pond, like the, like the words, or do you want to walk the other way? Well, where exactly are we with related to, because I think this like, is you, the... You see this like purple line? Yeah, that purple line. You've hit yeah. that corner, so you need to go south. Or do you go... Oh, east? I thought we were coming the other way from the dog park. No, 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 you definitely didn't go that way. You went all the way around through this bridge. We avoided the, the dog bridge. park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you oh, the bridge. Oh, okay. We, we, could, we could divide the party and go both ways. Ah, awesome. Um, <laughs> I kind of I want to... Uh, let's see. i got to change my color here. Uh, where do I change my color? Just so it sticks out a little bit on the... Uh, Just click on the square uh, by your name at the bottom. I, th I think if we go by on like this side, where I kind of put that little yellow oval... Um, that side would be closer to maybe a gate where they're bringing in cars. And, yeah, but that's uh, also where they'd have, they'd have security. Yeah, but then maybe we can get Stan to just fast talk somebody and, oh, you know, we forgot something in a car, we got to go and get it or whatever. Yeah, I can try that. Yeah. See, I'd take it a different direction and, hey, we're here to pick up the first round of cars. Boss gave yeah, us the key for this one, so let's start with this. But why would we be picking up cars? This is, this the, is, drop just off this is cars. the drop off, right? Oh, this is the where the derby yeah. is going to be. Oh, somebody, all, oh. somebody, somebody dropped their phone. Somebody did something. Yeah, and that's why. Uh, okay, okay. We got to go back and get it from. Yeah, this no, car. something's in the trunk or something like that, or the glove compartment, yeah. or under the seat, or yeah, yeah, or actually in the trunk because I have something of value in the trunk. Right. Sure. So, we go in there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, sounds good. So, we, uh, we're going to move to, uh, east, I suppose, towards uh, that, I guess, loading point, as you had mentioned. We're going to move east east on the north side of the uh, little thing. Awesome. East. East on the north okay. side. Oh. On the north side. Fantastic. All right. So, anyways. Anybody uh, you, else uh, feel like they're going around in circles? You, yeah. Only vaguely. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as uh, you uh, start, you know, walking around there, you're still checking out who the people that are working inside because there's still a lot of fence to go. Sorry. So a lot of fence uh, that is chain link that you're walking mm -hmm. by. Are they giant as well, by the way? Who? The people, the roadies. Um, they vary in size, really. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, this is not like the people you saw in the bar, the Silent mm -hmm. Moon that you were in earlier, but uh, so they vary in size. They're just all working. Like, they're not even paying attention to you, right? You kind of, like, no one's really noticed you're walking around or anything like that. They're just too busy doing their own thing. Clearly, they got a job to do, and that's what they're doing. So, like, vary in size from, like, 6, 8 to 7, 4? Is that what we're talking about? Or? <clears throat> uh, no. Okay. Um, more like, we're going to, like, a 5, 8 to, like, 6, 2. Maybe okay. a, uh, once in a while, you get a 6, 3 guy. Human size. Awesome. Yeah, regular human-sized individuals, it looks like. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, so you eventually get to the uh, front there, and uh, it uh, looks like there's you're walking towards the, in the in the dark here on the north, like a little bit north in the uh, in the clearing. Um, you notice a structure that's there, and a couple of people are smoking uh, at the structure. There's a few uh, cigarette butts uh, you notice light up, and uh, it looks like as though um, they're kind of chatting with each other, um, but uh, they're kind of making it a little bit secretive before uh, you get to the actual uh, front gate. Anything you want to do? Um, well, can we try to hear what they're saying? Uh, if you want to like go back into the force a little bit and try to see and do some recon, you can, I guess. But uh, I'll talk to you guys. Uh, would, would we think, would uh, would Clayton think that they saw us walking? Like, would... No, they're not They're not paying attention to you. They're, they're kind of like, they're looking at you. They're, they're kind of huddled and looking away from you. Well, I would think that if they didn't even really notice us or pay us any attention, I don't want to notice them or pay them any attention. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm Eye focused on, the on my car. Eye yeah. on the prize. Yeah. All right. Do you want yeah. to try and sneak by them, and if need be, we can throw a distraction and lead them off? I don't think they're even paying attention to us. So, sorry, these guys are not right at the gate, right? 
No, they're not. Okay, they're so there's other guys. Like... There's other guys at or beyond ah. the gate that we need. Oh, to oh, right, right. Gotcha. oh yes. There's, yeah. yes, there's yeah, yeah, there are. But there are there are two people at this like kind of like structure, like a wooden structure that uh, we'll say yeah. gazebo. A yeah, gazebo. gazebo. Oh, <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh. Uh, I, know, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. Yes, yes, gazebo. he did. He wanted to say the gazebo. I, okay, fine. We'll say it's a gazebo, and no. uh, and they were they're kind of like very they're they're, they're very uh, whisper esque. They're chatting with each other, and uh, you do notice them. So well, they're trying not to wake the gazebo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of, course, of course. The dreaded gazebo. Anyways, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to just sneak past them and keep going towards like the gate, or do you? Because there's people at the gate still. I think we have to go to the gate. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, the eye on the prize. No, no, hold on. Do we all want to go to the gate? Like, or would it be weird that? Well, we all have you know, to because if I'm making, are... but if I'm making a diversion, who somebody's got to sneak in. At least one person's got to sneak in to get the yeah. car, right? I'm thinking it's Clayton's car. He's got the key. You need to sneak. Um, yeah. I can back, uh, stand social play. Um, well, you know you what? It, to... It's good. It's good if if all all of us are there, then two people can back the social play. Yeah. I mean, you know. Even, uh, <clears throat> even. Um, um, so, so if we get if we get separated, let's talk about this now. If we get separated, where am I going to pick you guys up? Well, there's only one way out, right? Yes. So you'll just be so on you the know road of. somewhere. Like we're going to be we're going to be at the gate. So if you're driving up, okay. The I'm gate, just wondering if, if like you literally we jump in the car. The just make sure the auto locks unlock the doors, right? Don't. I don't want to duke some hazardous. Right. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll open the trunk and you guys can hop in. Whatever. Whatever gets us in the car. Shotgun. Uh, no, no, no. I'm traditionally shotgun. In in case we end up separated and we all manage to get away somehow, including the car, where's our fallback point here? Because if you need yeah, Dukes of Hazard at somewhere else, we could just meet you somewhere else. Well, I'd say the parking lot. The parking lot? No, we're not going back away. to the... Well, we're not going back to that parking lot. Well, you know where it is. Because if we're stealing our car back, if we have to meet up with him, I say we meet up with him. Well, I don't know how we would survive. That's all. Like if he drive, it drives away. We're toast. No, they're not. I got my sword. Unless I'll, they don't. Unless, unless, unless they don't realize that we're a with werewolf? him. No, I haven't met. A, hey, oh, so it's confirmed they're werewolves. Okay, good to know. Never. You never, guys confirmed it. Uh, I know, but so. Never underestimate the power of looking stunned because if they don't know we're <laughs> affiliated with this theft, we can just stand there and go, holy crap, that's crazy, and then fade into the crowd. There's a crowd? Watch <laughs> watch the rest of the derby and then meet at a separate point later. But if it's, woo, Clayton made it, oh, by the way, we're screwed now, then yeah, no, it doesn't matter ultimately. Well, it looks like up here there's a subdivision. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. School so you guys road. like if you guys make it over there. There's got to be a school then, uh, over there. So how on about the other side of that road? How about yeah? How about the school? Well, no, there? we'll just we'll just follow the river up until we cross the road, and yeah, we'll meet back there somewhere. Right there. Right, right, well, right, and right. I mean, you guys, you guys right here, cross right, the right, right here, right? No, right here. No, no, right. I was I was thinking this one over here. Because uh, again, we passed the no fishing and the you know, dog zone or the. Okay, so zone. where are we at on the map here? Maybe We're I'm down here. Turned around. Oh, okay. I thought we were over here. Okay. That is it. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, no. So, no, no. well, how about how about this? You guys have your phones on you. So, if we all get separated, you know, yeah. send me send me a ping, and uh, and we'll we'll kind of work on a spot to pick up at that that's, point. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. All right. Yeah. And break go. and sneak past yeah. these guys. Okay. Can I, can I get a stealth roll, please? Oh God! Here we go. Dex yep. plus stealth. This is where we fail. Oh, I'm putting a little willpower into this. I love the, I love the plan, and it's like, oh, the yeah. stealth any, roll. I'm putting willpower in. Are there any penalties? I uh, know there are no penalties. Yeah. Okay, so for, it's stealth plus. For the what? for the clarity of the potential listeners, this group does not have a. Good... There you go. That there it is. Yeah, we don't, don't forget. Do the they got to make a. They got to make an opposed check, right? They gotta if they yeah. get zero successes, you still sneak clean. Oh, I did it! Wow, I can think I... you just got Clayton through. Yeah, uh, where did Diego I... go? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's in the car waving. Yeah. He's wearing his yeah. stealth hat. Like, where are you guys? That's right. 
So can my uh can my you success can... my my exceptional success be to drag Clayton's ass over? How are you gonna do it? We'll play it out then. Um, Good idea if it helps. Okay, so he's about to trip or something, and I catch him, and I kind of do the whole shh thing. It <laughs> silently flips you off. I'm okay with that. It wouldn't be Clayton if it, if he didn't. All right, I'll, 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 allow that, I'll allow that to pass. I like how true to form, I'm in the middle of warning about how we're so bad at stealth rolls, and then immediately... <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Can yeah. Over. yeah. Roll two. <laughs> Fuck off. And then, All right. and then I save your ass. That's all and good. And then there okay. was a fire. Well, five successes <laughs> on five dice. Like, that's that's pretty, impressive. That's yeah. Pretty, impressive. How do you get, oh, how do you roll six dice? Oh, I had a ten. Never mind. I had a ten. All right, never mind. All right. Okay, but they got to they gotta roll anyways. This is true. Yeah, so it might not matter, but... So uh, you could have used that you hit, for something else. You only had... Oh, my God. How did you... Never mind. No right. question. Same team. Same right. team. All right. So they're going to roll here. Only two successes. So uh, you'll be successful in uh, in getting past them. We are superstars. Just Ooh. you. Just you. Yeah, Just great you. success. Yeah. Clayton fucked it. All right. So you make it. He's just, he's just so anxious to get to his car again. He's just over and rambunctious. Right. Rambunctious. That's a word. That it is a word. That we use often. I use it. Yes. Do you really? I do. Oh. Probably routinely. I'm sorry. That's okay. Are you telling me you couldn't wrote, write this intro? You use a word like rambunctious? Yeah, but I don't want to. Oh, my gosh. All right. Mid, mid 19th century, huh? Oh, yeah. right. oh, screw you. The 50s call. They want their words and everything else back. Okay, here's the word. <laughs> words, and, words and probably syphilis. Fuck go you. There you go. Oh, that's definitely not on your arm. Anyways. <laughs> so. <clears throat> be able to successfully sneak past the two people in the gazebo. The dreaded gazebo. Do we sneak <laughs> past the gazebo as well? You do. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, actually, it was the gazebo. <laughs> and there was like uh, I got a root that had come underneath the gazebo that had tripped uh, the hilo there. And uh, cause him to stumble, in which uh, Diego was able to yeah. catch him as he was falling. The gazebo turned sharply, but then decided it was probably <laughs> just the wind. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and so you uh, get past, and uh, you're at the, uh, you're right by the gate there. And there's uh, a few uh, armed men that are at the gate. What are armed. they armed with? No, no, no. This is fine. They don't have legs. Let's just run right by them. Ah! Wow. No. We're going Fine. there? Are we going there? A lot of jokes we made here. Anyways. Don't. Don't make me go get the fucking ratchet. <laughs> it's it's doing a thing right now, so I need it to stay there. But... Holding up the wall. No, Anyways. it's holding in the electrical. So, uh, which is probably not great, but still. So, uh, yeah. It was, uh, they're, we're wearing some, uh, what looks like semi-automatic rifles. Kind of strapped to their around their chest there. We're just kind of holding it. Not really have hands on it, just kind of holding it. But uh, yeah, semi-automatic uh, rifles. I yeah. wonder if I'll end up stealing one of do those. Do these semi-automatic the rifles happen to have an automatic setting on? <laughs> yes, they do. They're also <laughs> automatic. Oh no. The Fokker like AR-15. Cursed. Yeah, they also automatic. Julian vegetables. Yep. Look at AR-15. Oh, good. All right, sweet talk them. All right. And go. I will oh. stroll up. I'll go with you. I'll, I'll give you a hand on this one. Yeah, and as you uh, walk up, the one guy kind of nudges the other guy and goes, uh, kind of point, kind of nods in your direction there. Hey there, yeah. guys. With a, with a weird scowl on their face. Yeah. Oh, what was Gunther? Right, that was his name. Gunther. Um, Gunther. Yeah. Gunther. Gunther. No, Gunther. Gunther. Do not fuck this up. That's right. Gunther. 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 Hey there, guys. Uh, hey. What are you guys doing here? Uh, oh, Gunther sent another... us to Gunther sent us to go check uh, for something that was left in one of these cars. Gunther, what does Gunther have to do with any of this? Well, one of these cars belonged to a friend of his, and uh, well, there's something a little valuable in one of the trunks. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just stay here for a second, and I uh, kind of goes over to the guy, kind of speaks into his ear a little bit. And um, the other guy kind of nods. He starts walking towards uh, 
walking to inside the actual complex there, the compound. Is uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll make a phone call here and check your story and uh, give us a minute, right? Yeah, sure. Tell them it's Stan. Stan. Yeah. And they kind of said it's Stan. And the other guy goes, "Fuck off!" <laughs> and she kind of walks over. I mean, do we What's need to? Anger? Do we need to bother him with this? Really? I mean, you can go with us. Watch us take. What's in the? Tr- I mean, what's the big deal? What do you mean? What's the big deal? Well, you've got all the rifles, and we're just looking to grab something out of the trunk and move on. Well, give me the key. I'll go get the, get out of the trunk then. I'll look over at Stan. Is you got the key? No, he's got the key. I look over. Yeah. Here, give me the key, and I'll uh, I'll go get whatever's in your trunk. How about how about I go with you? It's uh, it's a pretty valuable piece. I'll take good care of it. Don't worry. Seems like a uh, boss or something. What the easy, fuck is easy it? to say that when you've got all the rifles. True. I know. That's why I'm on this side of the fence. So can I try and fast talk this guy? To I was going to say, <laughs> Stan is wondering yeah, when he gets to roll for this. Under, under <laughs> the entire process. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, my my, my RP really is running out. We got we got to yes. move it on to the mechanical. Stan, side far better fast talker than Magnum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go for it. You want to fast talk? Okay, so I'll be the uh, primary. So yeah. And... So manipulation, persuasion. Yeah. You could do it. Fast talk, willpower. Any negatives? Negative one. He's okay. suspicious. No, that's uh, hey. I would be too. Persuasion, manipulation. No, manipulation plus. Um, oh yeah, persuasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And then fast right. talk, and willpower minus one is still willpower. Okay. Still three. Yeah. Cool. That is a number. It's a good number. Okay, That's not a bad. That is a respectable number. Anybody sure, else also doing the fast talk? Who was who was chirping in? Clayton was. Did you say anything, Diego? I haven't said a thing. I've, no, he's pretty silent. I've, I've, I've usually find in these kind of situations best not for me to talk because I usually fuck things up. Am really? I am I rolling really? Am I rolling as as help or am I rolling as? No, I'm the primary. So okay. you're you're assisting. I'm going to use willpower on this, and why won't it let me select my persuasion? You got to look up top. It what doesn't highlight? The no. <clears throat> yeah, I know. There it is. So I'm using willpower as well. So you get a maximum of five, I believe, right? To your roll, Magnum? All right. Yeah. yeah, so I can add five yeah. from that source of help. Okay. All right. So here's my manipulation plus my persuasion. Does my uh, striking looks help? No, there's not. I didn't help think it was. No. All right. So here we go. I've got my manipulation plus persuasion plus one for fast talk plus five and I will add three for willpower. For a Really? Total. All those dice and you're like, I'm still going to add three. Oh yeah, this is working, damn it. Okay, and... Uh, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't. I'm actually kind of hoping it doesn't because I, <laughs> I, I would love to see it not. Well, it's me. Why it's probably you... not going to. Because, so... because it's funny when it fails. Listen, just, just stand in the background. It's, it's better yeah, when yeah. you just It's stand. all fives. Yeah, yeah. so fives. that is a total modifier minus one, right? So minus one. Okay, so that means I got eight modifier. Jeez, it's like fourteen dice, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Look at the ones. <laughs> oh, Not oh a single God. ten. Oh, oh. oh man. Uh, I love anyway, this game. that is the product of three installments of willpower. That is what that is. That's wow. How did you? Bad. I know. That's a terrible roll. Well, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted just to roll and, and see, but I know it wouldn't even change anything. <laughs> <laughs> I already I, I mean, seven. I'm going with seven. You're getting seven successes there. Go ahead, roll for it. You get seven. I'm feel, curious as seven. to what I could what I could do. I am... Well, you want me to roll fourteen dice, so that would be nine modifiers. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, that's awful. Yeah, that's awful. Good job, good job, Sam. Gee whiz. 
Oh my god. So I'm just curious, can the audience see these rolls? Yep. Yeah. The rolls, right? yeah. Okay. I'm showing the There, the, see uh, that's that's how you do rolling right there. You got one ten. You still only got one ten. But I got six that successes. Great. That is, is the number of successes, which is bigger. Fair enough. Fair anyway, enough. okay, so oh, you're able cool. to ask talk your way in there. Four successes uh, is still four successes. What's yes. their resistance? Uh, resistance is two. Oh, geez, uh, I was fucking drinking beer. Oh, oh my god! I fucking spat it all over my fucking screen. Sorry, I tried. I tried oh to god. turn my head to laugh as much as I could. Oh, I, I gotta close god. the door. Hang on. Oh god. Oh. Fuck. Sorry. Oh my god, it came out of my nose. <laughs> what are you drinking? Beer, just. <laughs> Quick, name a brand. We can get sponsored soon. Uh, it's Belgian Moon. It's Belgian Ooh, Moon. Belgian Moon. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I like okay. how we treated that as the hard part of the encounter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You just had to ask like twice. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. If the other guy was there, it might have been three. Who knows? Oh, it's um, like the negotiating equivalent of I'll be your friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to say to him to get him through? To get you so, so well, I think there. we've said what we needed to say. Just yeah. That, that, All right. That, fair should, that should probably work for us, no? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And that, as you as you were, uh, I mean, I'd I'd reason with them that whatever we're taking, we got to walk out through these gates, so they'll see whatever we're taking with us. That's true. You can't miss it. Yeah, you, no, but you won't be able to miss it. Anyways, and you do have all the rifles. But you really want it to miss you. So fair enough. So um, <clears throat> as uh, you uh, you, you kind of fast talk your way through, you kind of let you in. He's like, all right, whatever. Just make it quick, guys. We got a show to go uh, starting pretty soon. Yeah, things going on, so don't get caught. Uh, don't get caught in the middle in the mix there while people are walking around. Just stay the fuck away from them. Got it? Yeah, we don't plan on getting caught. Don't worry. Thanks yeah, a lot. No. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's and as you walk stuff. by, the other guy starts walking past you, uh, going back to the gate there. And my head nod. Yeah, and he kind of is like, kind of still gives you kind of a weird look. Um, and uh, he's like, gives you kind of a nod too, and he gets back to the gate. So we have this complex. So I'm gonna draw it for you here. You're literally drawing us a map. Awesome. Well, this is the complex essentially, yes. right? And then I'm gonna do it in a different color where you guys entered. So you would have entered, for example, here. I'm gonna say it's right down Main Street here. This is the kind of the gate area. <clears throat> you have a few, uh, a few. Uh, what looks like uh, not like mini buildings or like kind of pop-up tents kind of thing. Like, uh, you know, like those big, like, tarp tents, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. the, uh, <clears throat> like, a, like, almost like a barracks. Movable car parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of yeah, like yeah. that, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there's a bunch of them here. Um, that's the, this, this point right here was where the guy kind of walked in, kind of a station to, I guess, chat with whoever he needed to talk to, to uh, verify your little story there about Gunther. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to draw a few more here. And then we got uh, what looks like, I'm going to change this color here. Um, this light blue one that I'm going to do right here uh, seems to be like a larger hanger. Um, not sure. You're not sure. What, obviously, it's in there. Uh, the red that I'm going to draw here is actually where um, <clears throat> the uh, I guess I'll draw right here. That would be the uh, the entrance to the uh, the actual derby. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we got uh, oh different color, different color. Sure, yeah. Okay. And then our car park that you guys are looking for uh, is down here in this section. And there seems to be also a very large um, area. Here. Actually, no, sorry, not large. Um, a few smaller ones here. You got some, uh, these, these pink ones here, or the fuchsia, are kind of trucks that uh, have equipment on them, uh, probably for the roadies. And then another blue one. Where's that light blue? All right, and that's pretty much it. All right, so Before just that. so I get this, when we walk in to mm -hmm. our left, yep. we see kind of these mobile car park tarp tents sort of things. Uh, yeah, on your left and, then and on your right. And then straight ahead of us, there's a very large hangerish sort of, is it port, like is it a metal structure or is it a portable yeah, structure? It is a, it is a metal structure. Okay, the smaller so one on the, the smaller one here is on the left, a portable yeah. structure, a portable structure. Yeah. 
or a smaller one on our left, this, bigger one this on our one right. This one seems more permanent. Yeah. And to our to our immediate right, we see these um, these uh, more of these kind of portable car parks. Is that what those mm-hmm. are? Mm-hmm. Like okay. for like equipment and stuff like that, like sound and. Oh, other okay, things. gotcha. So that's more of like production stuff. Yeah, yeah. for like the roadies. Okay, and then on the on the far, like straight ahead on the we, what we probably can't see because of the large hangar, are where the yeah. trucks are parked and stuff like that. Correct. And then, then there's is the that, exit. Is that a mobile the... car park sort of thing? Too? No, that's the derby entrance. Yeah, that's this is the derby entrance here. Okay. Yeah. And this is like where all the cars are parked, like it's a parking lot kind yeah. of situation. Okay. Far on the other See? side. Okay, so near the parking lot where all the cars are parked is the main derby entrance, and we're coming in through the, the sort of uh, roadie entrance. Correct. Okay, cool. See, if, if we could find bolt cutters, this is a pretty simple thing to solve. I don't know if we want to try and go through the derby. Well, I mean, I do have a sword, and I could possibly cut through it. I don't want to because I don't want to dull it, but in a pinch. Uh, again, consulting the sheet. All right, let's uh, let's get across there, and get our and find the car. Uh, as we walk, is there any sort of a uh, like these are all production trucks, right? They're sound and lights and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like a mechanical, like they wouldn't be patching these cars up to put them on the. No, no, they're not mechanics. Okay. They're more like disassembly. Yeah. Well, even if they're stripping it for parts, they'd have tools. And if they have tools, they might have something we can cut through the fence with. Or you can split up. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, now it's a bad idea, is it? I was joking last time. The whole... No, you weren't. I don't... I I was so joking. I don't... I don't limit it to just your joke because that's what it was. I'm just our experience to this point. We should be a lot more dead than we are in a couple of different settings. Well, that's true, too. That still can happen, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So as we're walking, I would say to Clayton, hey, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure your car can punch through a gate if we have to. Well, I just but, about punched through a wall at the casino. But what are the chances of you just leaving it here and writing it off on the firm? Right. No, that's expensive. Well, I, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have an issue with that. I do. I realize. I just realized, though, that uh, if I do that, I'm going to replace it with, you know, maybe a pickup or like a Denali I'm, or listen, listen, a you are not, you are not, like you, are not you are not talking to a person that's going to have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. You're not in the conversation. That's why I said I was whispering. You can roll to detect whispers, and I'm just going to start tactical slapping if that's what you want. Roll for it. Roll for it. Detect whispers. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, where's uh? What do I roll? Oh my God, you're going into the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so two I'm feet past the gunman, I just I, slap I, into the soil. I'm assuming I'm assuming that's width plus uh, composure for for trying to pick it up, right? Yeah, if you're trying to listen to something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do I ever? Screw you, eighteen dice. No, that's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Holy crap. <laughs> what just happened? Way to waste he, that he roll. Rolled, he, oh, rolled five, he rolled five dice and got five successes. He rolled oh. eight dice. So like, that roll was supposed to save our bacon later. I know. I oh, feel bad about don't that. Don't waste so rolls, Gogan. I should have done it. I shouldn't have don't, done that. Not only did you overhear my conversation, you now have my grandma's cobbler <laughs> recipe. Stop rolling on the side table. God. Hey, shut up. <laughs> so as we're walking, you you, I guess. Wait 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 wait, wait 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 wait. Speaking of cobbler, is cobbler do they better than pie? No. I feel like cobbler is what happens when a pie fails, like really? stru- structurally. Yeah. Structurally, it's like messed up. And you're just like, yeah. Oh, you just now. you just grab a big spoon, stir it up, and be like, you are a cobbler now. It's like how scrambled eggs happen. I tried well, to do over easy. Scrambled... It didn't work. Stir. Look at that. Ready to go. <laughs> scrambled eggs are a thing of their own. You think so, so is, so I feel is cobbler. Though, I feel as though scrambled eggs is, is like the simplest thing you can do. It's a, well, it's a simple thing, but it's still good. Pretty I'm sure it's not raw good. I'm not saying cobbler. I'm saying, yeah. yeah, who's eating the raw eggs? Seriously, yeah, we're not going to still loan Rocky right? Balboa. No, no, we're not uh, still loaning this. Yeah, yeah he had seven and a Yeah. But really, though, like, is cobbler just a failed pie? Is there in a bill that's uh, In a lot of ways. I mean, I'm sure you can go into it with the intent of making a cobbler and then invariably succeed. 
But if you go into it and you screw up a pie, you're just like, ah, oh, it's cobbler now, whatever. You know, referring to but cobbler pretty, pretty as a sure failed a pie... project, how does that make the shoe repairman feel? <laughs> uh, pretty down in the dirt, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Isn't yeah, isn't pie sad. just put in and it has crust on all sides though? And cobbler yeah, and... just has like it's in a dish. It's yeah, it only it's, it's crumble. Like, it, the crumble oh, is no, integrated. No, crumble is but that's a different thing. There's no, apple, there's crumble. Crumble. That is true. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, crumble's different nope. than, than a cobbler. Yeah, don't there's, don't com- so, there's crumble, cobbler, and pie. So this is a new reason why I hate that you rolled a seven here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like we're really we're getting down to the core of it. This is true. So as you're beginning to neurotically vocalize your hatred of spending money on things, yes. I'm going to very gingerly but directly put my hand on your back and pull you forward and say not in front of the armed gunman i don't know how bulletproof your car is in much the way that i don't know how bulletproof clayton's car is are you bulletproof because i'm pretty sure we left all the bulletproof shit back in the trailer no i've been shot a few times and it sucks yeah yeah so reflecting on that what's worse spending money that we've earned through hard work and then making an insurance claim that will be paid out offsetting that expense completely or getting shot again, ruining the car anyway, and then having to go through the insurance under now suspicious things, ultimately paying it out from the firm anyway. Yeah. I just don't want my premiums, the premiums to go up. It's his premiums because it's his car. But he's going to write it off on You're the phone. A, what kind of lawyer are you? The point is... Stan is looking for the car. Oh. As they... As they <laughs> I feel okay. like we, we can I leave the car here the car and be is. no... We can leave the car here and be no worth off. Okay, as you nope. two are talking... Wait, wait, so I'm going to stop there. As you two are talking, so Stan and Bahilo are going to go search for the car. As you guys are muttering here. I, I already so know where the car is because I pressed the button. Yeah, yeah. Well, done. you heard where the car is. You actually don't... You haven't determined exactly where the car is. So we get a bonus is. to our wits plus the composure lights. check? Yes, but like you have no idea so like saw where... the lights flash. Sure, the lights flashed in this area, but you're not completely sure exactly where it is. You gotta still search for it is what I'm trying to get at. So what's Could your you okay, so I'll me... press the button again? Sorry, how big is the area that the cars are parked in? I don't have a sense of scale for this complex. Fair enough. So like, can you draw me a person? Like is am I like this big? No, you're not that no, stop, stop. You no no. Okay, delete that, you fucker. Anyways, so, um, yeah, it's actually quite large. Um, as you see on the actual map, if you took that map and you kind of compare it to, like, Lum's Pond there, mm-hmm. like, it's still quite large. Um, so you're probably looking at, like, probably about two acres of, like, actual, like, land here. Inside of the complex, yeah. yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Or an acre. Let's we'll say an acre. Just oh, uh, no, I, with that much shit on it, I, it's got to be at least two. Yeah, it's pretty big. So. All right, cool. So uh, as you guys are bickering, um, Stan and uh, and uh, Clayton, which way do you want to go? Uh, toward you just start toward all the, the audio, right? Toward the, can I, toward the, you know, the sound. Can I press the button again and make it beep? Uh, yeah, you can, but uh, unfortunately, it's quite loud as you are walking around in this area that you probably won't. Yeah, you do not hear the sound. Yeah, but we we kind of had a general idea before. Do we get some sort of bonus to a wits plus composure check to? Yeah, look well, I think for it. I think Dark Templar is looking more. What is the route we're taking from the gate to the area where they are parked? Well, we, yeah, we like, must have seen because it's a because yeah we, we can see like, through yeah. the gate. We can see where. No, no, no. Parked. But if you look again, if you look at. Are we going between the two large buildings or around the back of this one? So, as I was saying, because we've seen through the fence on our approach, we must have seen where the cars are located, yes, generally yeah. speaking. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to follow the inside of the uh, of the fence. Yeah. That's what I figured okay. we'd be doing. Yeah, to right. get around to the where the cars are actually located here. Yep. Okay. So we'll say, like, as you walk through, like, uh, on your left and right, obviously, again, you see more roadies that are, uh, you know, lifting things and putting things up in, into place and going to and from what looks like the entrance to the uh, the derby itself. Um, and people, you know, pushing these carts kind of thing with uh, equipment on them. And then also you see, um, as you guys walk beside the barracks uh, on your right here, um, 
you see uh, what looks to be almost like a small armory. Like it really looks like a barracks where you see people who are in fatigue, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, army boots and, um, and uh, quite uh, heavily armed for some reason. And, uh, you know, you have your kind of your shaved heads, um, you know, interesting tattoos that happen to be uh, all over the place, necks, faces, teeth, uh, all those kinds of things. Teeth. Eh. On teeth. Tattoos on their teeth. On wow. their teeth, that's baby. That's badass. You, you, you better tattoos recognize Tattoos on their it. teeth. Yeah, that's that's gingivitis. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Some of them have having teeth. That is um, a product of the methadone clinic. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, you guys reach about uh, the center of the uh, the larger hangar on your on your right, uh, sorry, on your left. And um, why would we go? You left? hear? Pardon? We would have gone right. We're following the perimeter. No, you would have. Gone, this is right. This is, but this is where the cars are. No. Oh, this is your left then. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yes, yeah, this is your if left. If we're facing. Sorry. South. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, it's on your right. Yeah, this hangar here on your right. Uh, as you uh, approach this hangar, um, there's a lot of commotion that's happening inside of it, and uh, it looks like uh, an argument has spewed out in the uh, in the hangar itself. But I wanted I wanted to follow the perimeter of the fence. Oh, you want? To, oh, sorry, my apology. I, I completely uh, yeah. misheard you. Then you want you want to go to the middle? Okay. So I sorry, my bad. So as you're walking around the perimeter of the fence here. Um, yes, you do see the roadies again. They're kind of going to and from. Um, they're complaining about how much they have to work and how they're not getting paid enough, and they wish they were teamsters. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of uh, lazing around, especially in this corner here. Uh, actually, it looks like they're blocking the uh, the area. There's so many people that are not working and just trying to not do as li- do as little as possible, I guess. And they're kind of like in a crowd at the moment. What do you want to do? Just kind of nonchalant my way through like i know what i'm here for just making my way yeah we're not exactly stealthing because we're allowed to be here it's just kind of yeah but i want to seem inconspicuous right i just you know like i act oh no we're gonna have just just like we're we we belong there we're We're gonna have to roll for casual walking aren't we well it would be a socialize role right it would be a presence plus socialize why would you give him that just because that's what it would be but the same team. <laughs> well, I mean, I, hey, can, I can role play acting like I belong amongst the roadies of a. Do it. You know. Do oh, it. Okay, you... here I go. Ready? Oh, me, nice. me acting like if I were there, how I would be if I knew what I was there for and nobody else mattered to me. I would keep my head down and keep quiet and walk in the direction that I'm trying to get while being you know while avoiding any sort of conflict if i you know just not drawing attention to myself eyes down yep that is the walking equivalent of just keep swimming yeah All right. that's yeah, what i'm doing yeah. here <laughs> fair enough so you keep uh, walking by with your head down there and um, are y'all, is all following each other? So you guys are doing? Yeah, all walking. Oh, we're walking I'm together. Walking. I don't think. Yeah, we're, we're I don't think in... we're like. So yeah. we're not stormtroopers, you know. Like... Yeah, I'm. I'm still in a heated, semi-neurotic discussion with Diego. This is fine. We're and not I guess stormtroopers. Clayton... We're not sand people. So Clayton, you're you're with uh, you're with Stan, right? Walking over. Yeah, I'm walking beside Stan. Great, right, fair enough. And uh, eventually, uh, as you keep pressing this button, you do see you do see what looks like an illumination coming from this side here. Oh, let's walk in that direction. You're not there. You're too busy having a conversation with Stan. No, we're know. we're just a couple feet behind him. Yeah, we can see. Oh, yeah, really? I, I was under the impression yeah. they were walking and talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we could we could do two things at each other. People can do other things than just walk. Yeah, I don't. I we'll see about that. So oh. give me give me uh, give me a oh, one second here. I worry it's going to be Gunther with a flashlight waiting to squash us. Okay, I've got a sword. Like, oh yeah, the light keeps coming on, and it's just, it's just him. Uh, Gunther, you found our car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Welcome to the Derby, boys. Can you give me a, a wits plus, uh, wits plus? I want to say presence. Oh. All this plus presence. Danger, danger you... sense. What are you trying oh, yeah, to? Danger. What are you trying to well, get they're too busy do? talking and walking at the same time. They might not see where they're going. Composure. Okay. Which oh, okay. composure? That composure still? 
yeah composure is is that they're they're not you know distracted right it's their uh, resistance to social yeah. distraction they, and then wits is your 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 like awareness finesse, all right finesse okay. of intellect right so well you are distracted so i'm giving negative one on that there okay. you go. danger sense no I still found it. Oh, we did good. Yeah, yeah so we, uh, as you're complaining or you know arguing with each other, you're able to narrowly avoid some of the roadies that have some of their equipment and uh, not run into them or trip over uh, a cord or hit uh, one of their carts or whatnot, therefore toppling things over. End so, up in uh, the gazebo. End up in the gazebo, yeah. of course. <laughs> yes. Comes out of nowhere. It's actually above yeah. you. The there. claws of the gazebo. It's been following us in the shadows. Yeah, it's, it's floating above Stalking you. us. If you will, um, look. All I'm saying is, I don't want to have to pay greater premiums. And okay. again, since he's written off on the car, the, on the yeah, company, but... that's the point. I just, let me ask you a qu- let me ask you a question. One lawyer to another alleged lawyer. Oh, okay, that's cool. No, no, no. It, it, but go with me here. Okay. When Clayton bought his car, right, and Clayton mm-hmm. insured his car, mm-hmm. did he go to you and say, Diego, I want the law firm? to buy me a car and insure it for me? Or am I going to do this as an independent citizen? Yeah, so I'm not convinced he didn't do that. <laughs> well, that is fair. <laughs> yeah, no, you probably... <laughs> yeah. 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 See, point, yeah. And the, and the worst of it is, I could see you <clears throat> expecting Clayton to just get the mail, so you'd never even get an invoice. Yeah, yeah I, I would have no idea. It would be totally filtered. In. I, I just really assume that Clayton is screwing us at every opportunity, so <laughs> it's best. He's probably not, you know, but it's, it's fun- probably it, safer. It is a funny no, that was, thing. That was, that was a deal that I made with Patrick, and then wow. whenever they called me to renew the insurance, I was just like, yeah, keep it going. <laughs> like, I, I appreciate that to Clayton's face, you're going out of your way to try and be very friendly and smooth yes. things over. Yes. But as soon as he's literally facing the other way, four feet ahead of us, you do the not claws, the <laughs> no, claws no, no. come back out. I'm just being reasonable. You're being as reasonable as I am a young Steven Tyler by appearances. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. You do look like Steven I Tyler. Know. Oh my God. You really I saw does. it and really I've been does. sitting on it. Like a I've young on it for a, a young while. version of it. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, he really like if he said no to drugs, that's yeah. pretty much right. <laughs> oh my gosh! If he said no to drugs <laughs> before 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 injecting heroin into his eyeballs, like exactly. Steven Tyler yes. endorsed, like Dare instead of you know <laughs> all of the drugs. Yeah, just everything. Yeah. Just sex, drugs, and alcohol. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, me, so... Ozzy, and a cockroach at the end of time. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, you're able to keep moseying yourselves along there. Now, as you move towards uh, the larger hangar, uh, you hear a commotion that both sides of the hangar are open. Um, so it's like you can see right through. And you hear uh, a commotion happening. There seems to be kind of like a mess hall inside of it. Um, and uh, people seem to be arguing with each other about something. There's a large commotion that's happening at the moment. You see like tables that are kind of, uh, you know, like uh, large picnic tables kind of style. Uh, like, and... Um, and people are, you know, up in arms and, you know, just it seems to be one side yelling at uh, the other side for some reason. And this is, sorry, this is beyond the parked cars or? This is before it. It's in this area here. Oh, it's, it's uh, okay. As we, so inside that hangar, like, structure yeah. to our left. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, you see, like, uh, like I said, some, like, like a picnic style table, like, all, like, a few of them all the way down. There seems to be at least, like, 75, 80 people inside. Um, a mix of roadie people as well as, uh, it looks like, um, people in in in, uh, in biker vests and uh, yeah, there seems to be a whole bunch of different uh, people that are there. To be anyway. honest, I just want to keep walking to my car. Can I try to listen so into I'll the conversation? I'll look conf- in and see it, but I'm going to keep walking. Can I try to, as we're walking, try to listen into the conversation? Like, what are they arguing about? Oh, you want to go inside and listen? No, 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 no. Just from a distance. Just from a distance. Uh, right. yeah, you can roll for that. So, with plus composure. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody else want to roll? Just... Yeah, I will. Yeah, why not? As we were walking by, we might very well notice something. Okay. 
I'm just going to keep walking by. Fair enough. Uh, so as uh, you're walking by, the three kind of stop, kind of slow down their their trot there to kind of listen to what's going on inside this hangar. And a few things you uh, you hear is um, a couple of words are thrown around. One of them's uh, about this chase. It's like you know uh, who's gonna like, but who's gonna win the chase? They're kind of like putting almost bets, and uh, <clears throat> it seems as though there's like some rivals uh, that are in the hangar, both you know four or five of them who are kind of like you know smack talking to each other, saying like they're gonna win the chase. Uh, this year, and uh, you know the prize. You know, um, <coughs> you hear a name. Uh, his name is uh, Darian, and uh, here uh, you know Darian uh, put a, a lot of work into this. He, uh, he's a pretty sweet prize here. You know, I don't know exactly what it is. It's kind of been kept uh, pretty hush hush, but uh, from what I've heard, it's it's definitely worth its weight. If you get what I mean. And uh, the trash talking continues, and uh, you know, basically saying how one's better than the other, and how they're gonna basically he's gonna run him to the ground, and you know, regular trash talking things that, you know, basically a gigantic piston contest about who is better at what. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Let's go to the car and get out of here as quickly as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's try and avoid Darren because that sounds like he put a lot of work into things. Yeah. Yeah, probably not a good thing directly related to our interests sorry i'm gonna add also <coughs> sorry i have my comments right here um i also, also add that uh someone also mentions the derby too at the same time and uh, says uh, oh man i can't wait to crush your ass in this derby this this year i need the money and uh nothing's gonna stop me from doing that you know grabbing the tr- you know, getting the trophy and winning this year and some other people are like you know you know you pips you you young guys you know I won this thing three times in a row. There's nothing you guys can do to stop me here at every single year. Uh, you know, our, our new plan every single year and every single year it fails. You guys are pieces of shit and my car is going to destroy you guys. And da, 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 da. Aggressive. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Clayton, as you uh, walk a little faster and start clicking your button, you notice that your car is in this car park. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is that um, it's kind of like a like a five by five structure, so five cars like five by you know like a I'm saying five by five, but uh, your car yeah like one kinda... of those parking lots in like downtown New York where they just fill it with cars and there's nowhere to get drive cars through. Exactly, and uh, yours kind of, yours 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 is kind of almost in the middle ish here. If you had a five by five, unfortunately, like there's no real space. For, like, you're, it's kind of bumper to bumper. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, I am sorry to say this, but it it might be time to just leave the car or take another one. Well, I, I gotta get I gotta get. Oh, take another one. Let's get the car. Well, we get the stuff and then we can leave, I suppose. I mean, if you are down for Grand Theft Auto, being lawyers and knowing what that carries. <clears throat> Ultimately, we gotta get back to Gotham. Like, well, I mean, that's it. Fine, we get like rent a vehicle. So. Get the stuff in the trunk. Let's let's go find a place and then. Have you never heard of high class regional airports? We've I've got a fucking sword, man. This is a work retreat, sir. I've got a sword. That's not a good carry on. So all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go keep going closer to my car, and uh, I want to walk around it once I get to it, just to make sure that it doesn't look like anything's been jimmied open. All right, guys, I think this is a pretty uh, good place to stop here. So we're going to stop uh, there, and we're going to award points here. So, um, okay, uh, everyone gets one point automatically for uh, participating tonight. So add that. Points for heroism. I don't think there was any actual heroism or sheer persistence uh, in this one today, so I'm not going to give a point for that. Role-playing. Uh, I'll give you each a, a point for role playing there, um, and learning curve. What do we got? We'll start off here with uh, Magnum. What did you learn, or what did your character learn? Um, so yeah, just so everybody uh, who isn't aware of first edition World of Darkness uh, experiences given out for um, you get one automatically for playing. You get one for what your character has learned uh, during the uh, chapter's events. And if the storyteller agrees with uh, with what you say, then he awards you 
a point. Okay, so it's basically your characters uh, learned. You also get one for up to two for role playing, one for kind of playing in character, and another one for acting. So if you get a, a little bit there, the it even says in the rules that the storyteller is not supposed to be stingy here. Um, and then heroism, again, as as uh, Dark Templar said, that it's truly heroic or feats of, of survival or sheer persistence deserve a, a point. Not to I'm rewarded. never stingy. Yeah, that's right. And not to be rewarding characters who act in stupid or suicidal ways just so they can get the accolades of being a hero. But let's talk about things that Stan Nowak has learned. Um, he has learned that there is an excessively large amount of weaponry here for a car derby where you're just going to be smashing up cars. They've got to be protecting something more valuable than just a bunch of cars they're going to smash up. Um, I am, Stan is, is concerned that his suspicions are that this is going to turn into some sort of, um, like the derby is, is just the, the precipitating event to some larger ruckus, um, that, uh, I don't know, it's where they, it's like a, like some sort of pecking order set sort of thing for the year or something like that. So yeah, he's uh, he's extremely leery and concerned that uh, there's way too much force here than necessary for a for a derby where they're gonna. Yeah, if I could, cars. if I could riff on that, if you're done. Yep. Between the talk of big sums of money, the weapons as mentioned, the fact that there's the chase, and how it's all being organized by a central figure within this criminal, probably supernatural organization, capping off with the fact that at this point, our suspicion is that they're werewolves. This is referred to as chase. This whole thing just, it just smacks of blood sport. Like there is, there is no, there's no wholesome way that this plays out. We are in much deeper shit than we think we're in. And the fact that we've been able to more or less just, you know, sweet talk our way in does not mean we're going to be getting away conveniently. And I do not want to end up attached to this chase, whatever it might be. Well, I, I, in saying that I actually wouldn't mind being attached to the chase. If we're all together in one car, I don't have an issue with us all leaving together in that car as part of a, I don't know, a, a brigade or cavalry or something. And then once kind of things happen, we just kind of, you know, fall to the back and peel off and, and go our own way. Um, that might be a valid way out of this. But, you know, Clayton's, Clayton's kind of thinking that, you know, again, yes, with the, with the large amount of guns and things that are, are used to protect these vehicles that are just going to get smashed, it's quite skeptical. Um, you know, Clayton's kind of thinking that all of these vehicles – um, could be used, uh, as already mentioned by Teku, as uh, as a large attack or a theft um, on another faction. We've, you know, within this game, we've experienced um, different things. We've experienced supernatural in the form of uh, mages and, and what we think are vampires. Um, so now if we're suspecting werewolves, then it might be an attack on another faction, maybe in another city, and using stolen cars would help cover their tracks. Um, having said that as well, I think that the... Uh, that the people outside the gates uh, feel like they own the cars, even though the cars are stolen and everything within them. Um, so if they knew uh, what was in the back of, of my car, in the trunk of my car, uh, we would not have received that, uh, that weapon out of it. Um, so you'll just have to tune in next time to see what the weapon is. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Nice. I like that. So my concern is can continue on with that discussion about the chase. I mean, my character had a you know a sudden like surviving the game vibe thing. What is it that they're going to be chasing? And since we think these things are werewolves, um, and you know, is it what are they hunting down essentially, and how quickly are they doing it? Like it's kind of like almost like a fox hunt, except are the foxes possibly humans? That would be disturbing. That would be. <laughs> that would be. That's it. What what makes good prey for werewolves? Because that itself is still assuming it's werewolves. Nothing has been said it's werewolves. Yeah, but it, it, nothing's been said that it ain't. Yeah. Considering well, the, the, the only other the whole humans time that I've this met has here been... is us. That's it. Yeah, we're yeah. the only ones. 
the the whole time that I, I look at it though, I mean, you know, we talk about what is the fox and what is the prey and a lot of this has just been these different groups, even in Gotham, different groups jockeying amongst each other for more control. So it may not be that this group is going and chasing after humans. Uh, it might be that this group is going and chasing after a different faction of werewolves, a different faction of mages, um, you know, in order to assert some dominance and gain more control over maybe this area in Delaware or wherever they're going as a part of their chase. All right. Does anybody else want to add before we end off? No, I think we're good. Cool. All right. So I'll give you each a point for that. Cool. I agree with somewhat of what most of you guys said. So I'll give you guys a point. Especially tuning in next time. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that wraps us up for this, our inaugural uh, recorded live play. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Always feel free to put comments down below. Um, we will provide uh, kind of a link or two to uh, where you can find these resources on DriveThruRPG. But um, yeah, we really appreciate you. Uh, if you liked it, tell your friends. Um, tune in next week. We'll have another um, we'll have another episode posted. We're going to aim for posting these every Friday, and um, when the new episode will go up. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's great to finally be recording and stuff sorry that it's kind of you know uh late in this story but we'll we'll recap you as we encounter things that are related to what we've done before and and the like and uh yeah i just hope that you've or are you still alive over there okay i hope we i hope that you enjoy uh and uh we'll see you again yeah all right uh we'll do our best to try and respond to comments below if you have a suggestion as to a setting you'd like to see us run down the road we'll take it into account um Otherwise, hope you enjoyed. All right. Bye. 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 Adios. Bye. Bye. One to loo plus one to loo equals two to lose. Oh, dear God. Right. Okay. My God. Bye.